What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a brand new video. It is me, Cog, and today I welcome you. We're going to be talking about DLC Pack 9 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about Super Saiyan 4? As a transformation available for our created characters. Now honestly, I think that would be an incredible idea for the developers to implement that into the video game. It would just bring together so many people who are passionate about feeling transformed. Having that ability to just ascend to the next level. To become a Super Saiyan 4. Honestly, I think that would be an outstanding idea if the developers were able to develop that and create it, implementing it into the game of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So, for everyone out there who agrees with me, who think it would be awesome to have Super Saiyan 4 as a transformation for our created characters in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 in DLC Pack 9 or 10, smash that thumbs up button, guys. Let's try to get at least 1,000 likes on this video. If we can do it, guys, I will give away... A whole bunch of TP medals. I will literally transform into Goku. Something, man. I don't know. You guys name it. Maybe I'll give away a Bandai Tamashi SH Fig Arts. Who knows? But guys, seriously, can we get a thousand likes on this video? Please, for the love of Jesus. It would be amazing. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. 1,000 likes. Smash that thumbs up button. And also, drop a comment down below if you guys are hyped for DLC Pack 9 and are interested in Super Saiyan 4 as a transformation for our created characters. Because honestly, I think that would be an incredible idea for the developers to implement that into the game. Like, seriously, guys. I want to know your thoughts, so let me know down below in the comment section. From what we know so far, DLC Pack 9 and 10 have been rumored for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and there could be several new features that are implemented into the game. And, I don't know, what do you guys think? We could either get Super Saiyan 4 as a transformation, we could get Ultra Instinct as a transformation for our created characters, we could get maybe just um, regular Ultra Instinct Goku's wig, we could get various other transformations, maybe even Android 21 as a character, Cumber as a character from Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, we could get Gogeta in his base form. Um, we could get tons of different things, guys. I honestly think that the content for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is endless. It can keep going. We still have the opportunity to get Topo in the game, Khalifla, Kale, Kefla, um, Dispo. There are so many different opportunities that, and, and avenues that the developers could approach um, towards implementing characters into the game or just different alternative features overall. Honestly, I would be really happy if they continued DLC for this game because um, that would keep my channel alive. And two... Um, that would that would that would make it so I could keep creating Dragon Ball content on my channel because it's something that I'm very passionate about and lately my channel hasn't been doing very good. I have been going to school and although that's something that I'm very passionate about, I almost have my associate's degree. I'm almost halfway to my bachelor's degree and I feel like it's not healthy for my YouTube channel to be spending so much time on school as opposed to creating content on YouTube. But to all of my friends and colleagues out there who work for various video companies and are wor watching this game right now, this video right now, I am still passionate about creating content for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and various other games out there. So I don't have any interest of leaving the platform of not creating content for games. So, there are tons of games out there that I'm very passionate about, and I don't have any, any reason to quit. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to think positive. I'm going to keep enjoying YouTube for what it is, and I'm going to create content 
that is going to ascend my channel to the next level, that is going to blow up and go viral. I don't have any plans to give up. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to quit. I, deep down, inside, feel like that I can keep thriving and keep being successful at what I do best, and that is creating videos on YouTube, something that I love very much, that I hold dear to my heart, something that I am and will always be passionate about. For the last couple of months, my Discord server hasn't been very active, and I want it to light up again. I want everybody to come into the Discord server, to have a good time, to be positive towards each other, to talk, and I feel like Although I haven't been able to create content that as often as I'd like for YouTube. A lot of people have just been distancing themselves from um, Discord. And my Discord is a place where you guys can come together and have a great time. Get to know each other, communicate, enjoy, have a good time. And it's also a place for me where I can promote my content. A place outside of YouTube where people can get notifications if they don't get those notifications on their phone for when I post new videos. Because that has been happening these last couple of months. I've been testing it while I've been kind of like in school, straying away from various things. I haven't been able to create as many videos for Dragon Ball as I'd like to. And I've been creating videos for other games and I feel like those games aren't of any interest to you and nobody is passionate about or interested in watching those videos which tells me that it's either Dragon Ball or it's Fortnite that I'm supposed to post one or the other and all of this sincerely is coming from the heart. And I genuinely feel like I may have ruined my channel by creating content for Fortnite. But at the same time, it has grown my channel. And now, I'm, I, I, have to, I have to work on both, which isn't bad because it gives me the opportunity to expand my interests and create content that a lot of people are interested in for various games. It's not just about one game anymore. And so I'm going to try my absolute hardest to accommodate for everybody and to create content for both games. I have some ideas for Fortnite and I have a lot of ideas for um, YouTube, but for Dragon Ball. But I, I want to go into something before I end off this video. Over the last couple of months, ever since E3, I have ruined relationships i have hurt people close to me i have ruined my relationship with some business colleagues and i have even failed classes in school i have even um felt at times that i want to give up I've looked at my channel the last couple of months and I've realized that a lot of the content that I've been creating isn't what you guys want. And I have felt a little bit depressed. And I, I think it's a good idea that I'm kind of distancing myself away from the platform to kind of get, gain insight to see what you guys really want from me want from my channel and for the majority of people who follow me I know everyone wants you to wants me to create content for Dragon Ball I don't really hear from a lot of people who want me to create content for Fortnite the streams are mostly for Fortnite the videos are mostly for Dragon Ball and so I'm going to try my hardest to stay as positive as possible, to remain as successful as possible, and try to evolve and take my channel to the next level of power. 
So hopefully you guys will stand by me. Hopefully you guys will subscribe. Stay subscribed. You'll have notifications on and you'll stay interested in what I have to post. And it's understandable if you guys aren't interested. Um, you know, it's hard being a YouTuber. It is. I'm going to do my best to try to give you guys what you want. And I'm going to try my best to do what makes me happy at the same time.